Uh, we are morning of uh, 18 February and uh, kind of just bounced around hitting a new chunk of public. Never been on before. Got a new camera we'll play with today. GoPro 360 Max. I'm going to see what we can do with that bad boy. See if it'll make any better videos than my cell phone does. I'm sure we can improve our quality here. Alright, I'm going to bring you back to show you something. Um, I guess I'm less than impressed with this location. Um, it's a good deer sign. Not what I want to see for a place for me to hunt. But uh, we're almost back to the truck. No sign of shed. Probably covered three or four miles up in here. Uh, seeing about 30 turkeys. Might be a place to come back with the kids during turkey season. But uh, other than that, we're going to hit the truck and hit the road and see if there's another spot that looks better. Maybe get on something there. I'll bring you back and find something. Well, I just ended the last video and uh, walked up on a flock of turkeys and these bad boys just went flying everywhere. Got a couple up here in the trees now. I think I'm officially I said 30 turkeys a second ago, but I think I'm at about 100 now after this flock. Let's see if I can top of them cedars. See if I can fly, flush her out. Well, maybe two or three on top of the cedars. There's still a couple out there, but we're going to leave them be. And... Well, made it to a, another location. And, uh, as you might be able to tell from the background behind me, that quite a bit of ash. We, uh, trying something new here. There's a recent fire that, uh, burnt off a lot of the underbrush and grass. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to make it easier to find some antlers. Whether it's this year's, last year's trails are still pretty distinct they didn't actually burn that well so you can see where the animals have been moving but everything else is burnt off you can see forever so, there's a bone laying out there unless it just freaking burnt enough to turn black and blend in with the ground it should stick out like a sore thumb and i've seen a couple uh shoulder blades and leg bones already and they've been pretty wide stuck out real good so hopefully the antlers gonna do the same. Well, let's see if we can find something. Just came across this shedded deadhead. Look at those. He's probably some good sure buck that out. Not a lot of worry on them too, so maybe not that old. But he definitely had something good size bases on them big head I almost thought it might have been a small elk when I first saw it wonder what took him oh well We're down in this bottom and you started noticing there's tons of beds in here which makes sense since most of the grassy hillsides on each side of it burnt off so it started following some of these heavier trails it's shot out and then looking out here on this burnt hillside i think we might have found our first shed it don't look like a fresh i was able to spot that sun going pretty far away though <laughs> looks like it's probably a white not real big but gets us on the board today exactly what I was kind of hoping with this fire you can see them things from forever away he's all busted up and everything definitely last year's shed possibly even older who knows how deep grass was out here before it burnt off we're on the board uh, got one up here another one in looks like an old one in the burnt stuff looks like it's going to be pretty good in though You can 
see this grass around here, how tall it is. I'm sure that bad boy wasn't for it's been burnt. It makes it impossible to find. Got some burn marks on it, but it's a really good find. Big old bases. Kind of short on time length, but he's really cool character on them bases. Good deer. Alright. Let's see if we can't look. Oh man, I just walked right by this fella. Turned around, looked over my shoulder, and there it was. That's a good one. Too bad it's all stained up and burnt, but let me see how well we can clean that one up. Some good characteristics on that one. Too bad it's burnt that bad. That's kind of cool color, though. I may not try to clean that up. Get dirt off it and leave it. Got a little bit of chewing. That's a dandy of an antler, though. He may get up there in my top four or five. May. Uh, I guess some, several goes over 70 inches. But down there might be close. Hmm. All right. Look around, see if we can find another half around here somewhere. This uh, burnt is actually kind of paying off. I'm going to have to do this a couple more times in the next few days. It'll be a good way to find sheds in the meantime while I'm waiting on the, this year's crop to finish dropping. Well, I guess this is going to be about the end of it. I'm almost back to the truck and I don't reckon I'm going to go to another place today. Pretty good. Five, three antlers, two. One really good one, another mediocre antler. Burnt dirt says worked out. I guess we're going to have to do this again. We got the kids out tomorrow morning on some burnt dirt. We got the weekend coming up. They're wanting to find some antlers, hopefully. Cover a lot of land, see a lot of land doing this, and they can find them some, even if it is past year sheds. I mean, heck, this one's a pretty dang good shed. I don't care how old it is. All right, I'll see you next time.